Hey everybody, Rosematter here. Welcome back to part seven of my Dank and Ropa Trigger Happy Havoc Let's Play. Had a very eventful last episode, so we concluded the first class trial, and now I suppose it's just back to regular everyday school life, but for how long is the question? Let's get this started. All right, so this is right after the class trial, so everybody, I guess, is going back to their room. Oh, all right. Uh, is there anything to investigate? I guess it's just kind of more of the same. I imagine he doesn't really want to talk right now. So there's obviously something specifically I'm supposed to be... Oh, is it maybe the notepad that Sayaka wrote her... Nope, okay. What am I looking for? What are you... Am I allowed to go outside? Because it is nighttime. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, I was like, is the body still here? Oh, it's gone. She... She really is gone. I forgot about that. I was like, someone obviously took the body away. How awful would that be if he had to be stuck with her body in there? It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh-huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? Oh, that's such a nasty way. It's okay, no need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted, smiling faces is thanks enough for me. This guy is such a jerk, he's just rubbing it in. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. <laughs> I mean, I guess at least he's cleaning up after, but... I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's death. Oh, right, Junko. Poor forgotten Junko. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. It's gonna be a very somber... meal. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! Okay. You sure took your sweet time. I was just about to go get you and drag you back here. Can I not have time to mourn a bit, guys? Sorry. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Okay, there's no need to smile when you say that. Hey, come on. Jesus, that's effed up, man. Why would you say something like that? There we go, Mondo actually said something, like, kind of nice? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like, the whole thing never happened. Oh, why is that in yellow? That's important, right? Ah. Sorry, I was like, I'm sure there, I think there was a button to press, but. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Once again, do you have to use the word scent? It just, it's so creepy. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto. Um. Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. I just, I really hope that Hina doesn't turn on me either, because then there's no good left in the world. Uh, it's her, her and um, Kyoko. They're the one, and, uh, and Sakura. I like her too. Um, I kind of want to be friends with them. The rest of them I, I want to learn a little bit more about first, but I definitely want to try and keep them on my side. You got it! So everyone, just try and cheer up and get back on track. Hmm. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? Aww, poor Hina. Everything she says, she gets shut down. We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well... But if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. 
keep telling yourself that I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy, like it or not, it's not that simple. Um, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, and modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, who seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a uh, sorry, too great of a risk. So then. Then what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. See, he's saying this right out in the open, which isn't very smart, because everyone's going to be, like, keeping an eye on him. N no. Oh, Jihiro. Jihiro, too. I want her- I want to be friends with her, too. What? No, what? Uh, I don't I want to- Uh-oh. Oh, no. Is she going to kill herself? I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. Yeah, she definitely doesn't seem the type to be able to do something like that. She's- she's going to be a victim, I feel like. If not- of her own volition, like, she's just kind of painting a big target on her back. I don't want to kill anyone else. Wait. She doesn't want to kill anyone else? That makes it sound like she's already killed someone. Hmm? Oh. Oh. Anyone else? What do you mean? What? What, what, what? It's because... Oh, Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. I was like, Chihiro, wow, Sayaka was one thing, but like... But... But... So, um, if we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? Well, she really is like, she's in a dark place right now, it seems like. So it seems. She's right, if you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Oh no, I just want to keep her safe, my little cinnamon roll. Jihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The Mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the Mastermind. Say, considering that there's, what, like, at least three games of uh, Dankenropa, I'm assuming we're not going to be taking Monokuma down, or Monokuma down, which is a shame, because, like, he's such a good villain. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. What was that about just now? Was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? He's just playing mind games, you guys, and you're falling right into it. And say, uh, sorry. And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Uh-oh. Boy's life of despair. So it looks like it's going to be a guy this time. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. 
What's he going to do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, what? Okay, lift your arms up What down. is this? <laughs> I like how he's the only one I... Well, uh, Hina's kind of sort of doing it very half-heartedly, but of course, Mr. You know, honor roll, whatever, he's like right into it. One, two, three, four! One, two... Three, four. What a kiss ass this guy is. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. This music is kind of creeping me out too. It's too it's too nice. Ugh. He's so creepy. Doesn't this feel just great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now. Don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So? So, why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. <laughs> Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. <laughs> Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness, the power can be yours. Hmm? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then... Hmm... Uh, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. Oh, does that mean like maybe a new section of the school? What the heck? A whole new world. You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Very nice. So go ahead, look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. Well, I mean, that definitely could have gone worse, uh, if anything... We have new things that we get to do, so I, I was afraid he was going to kill someone else just because he felt like it. But, a new world. Could it be? Is he talking about a way to get outside? Oh, poor sweet Hina, so, so hopeful. I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know until we look. Hey. Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. Oh, yay. I get to walk around the school some more and I'll probably take me like 20 minutes to find what I'm looking for. You hear me? Okay, then let's split, uh, sorry, let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. You're basically a one trick pony, you know that? Got it. More like a staple food source, now let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Okay, so which, uh... I'm wondering if it's a new floor that's opened up. Or maybe just new rooms. Oh. What the heck? Hey, Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing, but this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. You're serious? That stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Oh no, is this guy off his rocker or is he legit? Huh? Uh -huh. I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Dude, you couldn't even tell the difference between a glass ball and a crystal ball, so I mean, I'm gonna take whatever you say with a grain of salt. Let me out of here! I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. Well, I mean, it's worth checking, anyway.
Okay, uh, was that... So that's the only display case, I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, I guess I can't really investigate it. Alright, so, oh, uh, say hi to you. Makoto, look! The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor is opened up. Oh, we get a whole new floor. That's exciting. You hear me? But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about just in case. Without a doubt. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. All right, Captain Obvious, whatever you say. The uh, I don't think I've actually Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that is part of the school. Am I not allowed to look inside the bathroom? Alright, so it's pretty much just gonna be me pulling on doors and hoping I find stuff. But, since I have all of these medals now, or coins, I can use them at the store. But not right now. Yo. I went and checked the metal hatch in the main hall just to be sure, but... <sighs> Just like I figured, it hasn't moved an inch. Shit. Yeah, I'd be surprised if he made things that easy for us. Hey, damn it. Hey! What? Don't make that face. You look like a pussy. You want you want me to put some fighting spirit in you? Well, do ya? Uh no thanks. I think I've got enough for now. Yo. Well, okay. I'm gonna go look for another way out then. not letting me Alright, so I looked all around the first floor and it doesn't really let me do anything, so I'm gonna see about going up the second floor. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is that what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? Oh, this is funky. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. All right, time to investigate everything. Oh, okay. Or one thing in this case. This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. I am really digging this color. I really like this. Oh wow, this is uh, quite a big, big floor, very open. Oh, a library! This is where I'd be spending all my time if I had to be trapped in a school. Oh wow, there's a lot of people in here. Okay. Uh, and a lot of stuff to look at, okay. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. It looks like this library's been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge of upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. Woo! 81. I can't wait to redeem those. Alright, I'm going to investigate the items first, and then I'll talk to people. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. It looks like this library's been neglected for a pretty long time.
All right, well, this letter is kind of jumping out at me, so I might as well take a look at this. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permit. Uh, Makoto, I think the time has passed for that. <laughs> Jeez. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Oh, okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental author authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? Hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... It would seem Hope's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say that this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago. Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? See, what's jumping out at me is they kept saying governmental, government, government. So I'm wondering if the government has something to do with this, if they know what's going on in this school. I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. It's probably... It's probably just like a big online thing where they just wanted to keep up appearances and... Yeah. I don't know, this is really interesting. So in other words... That must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However... If it is real though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be a nice simple solution. It's true. But then, what about this other part? Yeah, serious issues. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. What do they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. If, if the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hmm. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, Will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Okay, so that was a pretty big thing. Um, yeah, I'll take a look at the... Oh, there's Kyoko over there. Uh, ooh. There's gotta be something at this desk. This laptop here. There's gotta be some information. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. I wonder if Chihiro could maybe try and fix it. 
she is like the computer whiz after all, but I mean, if like there's no power to it, there's not really much that can be done. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. All right, let's, uh, we'll talk to everybody. Whew. It's remarkably dusty in here and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I want to do much reading in. I'm absolutely shocked. How come? Damnation! They have all these books here and not one copy of any of my works. Well, yeah, why would they have comics in a library? Plus, most fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. You just don't get it. Not at all. I do too get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. Man, she is harsh. Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. You know nothing. Now hear this, appearances mean nothing at all. I feel like this is kind of breaking the fourth wall a bit because, you know, you think Sayaka was this sweet, innocent girl and she wasn't really, and maybe that's a hint about things down the line. What you see before you is nothing more than just the mind, or sorry, the rind that contains the meaty pulp of my genius. Here we go. My creations are what determine my meaning and value. You're so full of it. I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? Those two really worry me. I wonder if they're gonna get together. That would be funny. Hmm. But still, this library is most interesting. What's interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Okay, fine. Be that way. All right, Toko, you're probably gonna yell at me some more. You must be happy to have all these books around you, huh, Toko? <laughs> Not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. Indeed, there's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. You know nothing. Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Huh? Comic books? Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. Mm. I've seen what you write, Miss mm. Fukawa. Mm. Fukawa? Sorry guys, once again, pronunciation's not my strong suit. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. My stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all. Ooh, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. I bet you're secretly into boy-on-boy -boy action. Boy on boy. I don't care if it's an anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. I'm it's all filth. You. Throw away culture that'll be trashed and forgotten in half a def half a decade. Yeah, she's into it. Ugh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You've insulted me and you've insulted my honor. These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. Okay, uh, I think I'll try going through the door. I think I've seen everything here I need to see. What's behind this door? Hmm. It's some kind of archive. All I saw in there was stacks of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. It's true. I don't really have any reason to check it out. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Like, I feel like there could be some worthwhile information there, but... Okay, I guess we're just leaving it at that. And, uh, I'm... I think I've seen everything here. I hope I have. So I'll just uh, walk around because I'm really interested to see what else we have up here. And who else is kind of hanging around. Uh, another classroom. It's not really a lot of actual rooms here, it seems like. Reality is everything. I have to focus on the um, the chalkboard. There always seems to be stuff written on there, so I should just be sure to keep that in mind. That's pretty much more of the same. Surveillance camera, TVs. Oh, the windows, but it always helps to look because then that means that at least you might get uh, the coins. Yeah, all right, so that one was kind of a no-go. 
There, there's got to be something else up here. It's kind of disappointing if all that's up here is a library. Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, nothing here. Okay, there's another classroom. There's the bathrooms. That's when I walked in. Okay, so that'll be opened up, I'm assuming, later. That's the stairs. So this is the only other room, it looks like. The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna check these out really quick and then I'm gonna talk to uh, Sakura. I, I, I'm sorry, I was calling her Sakura earlier. It's Sakura. I have to remember that. Alright. What do you have to say, Sakura? I see. This must but be what he meant by a new world. Huh. I should probably take a really close look around. Oh, that's it? That's a little disappointing. Alright, well, I'll leave her to that, and, um... I'm hoping there was nothing at the library that I missed, but I'll go back downstairs and see if there's anyone else I can talk to. Because, I mean, that letter was a pretty big thing. Big clue, so. Alright, can I go in the store now? Ugh, shoot. So I am missing something. Alright, I guess I have to go back up to the fourth floor then. I'm gonna go check out the dorms, the school's all yours. Okay, so... Uh... Ooh, 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 ooh. What am I missing? Oh, jeez, I completely missed the pool. All right, well, man, screw the library. This is where I'd be spending all my time. And I'm guessing Hina is probably here, considering she's a swimmer. Oh, my God, is that a machine gun? <laughs> oh, Makoto, hey, guess what? Or, not a machine gun, but like a... Ah, I'm not a gun person. Guess what I found? A pool. There's a pool here. A pool. Pool, pool, pool. <laughs> she's so cute. You, you don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. Okay. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. Alright. Got a lot of stuff here to investigate, too. So I'll just go from... Right to left. I'm getting so many medals. Behind this door is the locker room. Yeah. Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of oh, course. there he is again. Really, really. <laughs> if you want to unlocker the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh-huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But... 
uh, but what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. Uh, the Gatling gun, that's what it's called. See, there's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? And it'll be all duka 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 duka. Just a second. I bet it really get hurt. Or er, sorry. Sorry guys, my comprehension, reading comprehension today is not good. I bet it'd really hurt to get shot by that thing. Um, uh, no, I think it'd be a little worse than that. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Ha! Uh, that never occurred to me. To think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Hmm? Okay, then how's this sound? I got it! Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there, so now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% caught. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, um... But you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's because all you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs. You're at that age you try humping a plastic bottle. So to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. So, violence against each other is encouraged, and he loves that, but no sex. That's, uh, I don't know if he's, like, that's some sort of, you know, analogy for kind of, like, our society, where it's, like, violence is very normalized, but, like, sexual stuff is seen as kind of taboo. Maybe I'm reading into mu too much into this? I don't know. Then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. Okay, Celeste, you gotta keep your mouth shut. She's just, uh, she's saying things and now he's gonna be, like, extra, like, watching us extra carefully now. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Disgusting. I don't care what happens in your private rooms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Just the worst. I hate you so much. See ya later! Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya! <sighs> Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it! Celeste, Chihiro, you want to come with me? As for me... There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'll pass this time. Huh? How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea of what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Listen to me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Yes, indeed. There's a library, okay. and a pool, a freaking pool, and locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. Well, There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. <laughs> like Hina's like, but it has a pool. I can live here. I'm totally fine now. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery that probably won't be amazing at all. Quiet down and listen. Oh. Okay, never mind, it is pretty awesome. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much, it's insane. <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like. Are you okay with this? Keeping in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about an effing way out of here? You find anything like that? Oh, well, uh... What? There wasn't anything in the what? warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here? Nothing? Uh, unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on. Ah, <sighs> you people. What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now, or a warehouse, or whatever the F? Stop fucking around. We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> now, now, there is no point in taking your anger out on us. Uh, adaptation is the key, yes? For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... 
Whatever you say, you loon. For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. So then. So, are we done for today? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. Oh, he looks so broken. The air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan? To give us hope? Just to turn around and betray that hope? Okay, something's going on with him. I wonder if he's going to be next to go. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. We all promise not to leave our rooms during nighttime. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend, which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Oh, that's right! I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before! Guessing it's the rule about um, not lending your um, handbook out to anyone else. He must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now, I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Is there anyone out here? No? Alright. It's exciting that the bathhouse is open now. And uh, the warehouse too. There we go. I will. Uh, I'll do that later. We'll go to breakfast first and see what everyone else has to say. Hey, Makoto. Morning, Makoto. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Oh, is there another murder? <laughs> please let it. I, please let it be by Kuya. Please. Still waiting on Bayakuya and Taka. Bayakuya is no surprise, but it strains Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka... Oh, wait. I was confused, sorry. I thought Taka uh, was Toko. I was a little confused about that. Knowing Taka, I imagine he is trying to get the King of Tardiness up and out of bed. Hmm. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. Which is... I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> hey, Fumi, would you make me some tea? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well, Whoa, who I me? Let's see. <laughs> your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Uh, mm. Oh, okay. She also knew he was probably the easiest one to manipulate. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Hifumi sulked his way into the kitchen. And a few minutes later, oh, who's gonna show up? Who is it? Oh, thank you for waiting. Hifumi reappeared with tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> Finally. 
You you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind <laughs> I of way. empathetically decline. You're not my type at all. Mm -hmm. It's all about the law of causality. Oh my god, my reading today is horrible. I'm sorry. Basic instinct. Act and react. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind... A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Well, she's the gambler, right? She knows how to read people, and she probably is able to get people to do what she wants without them even realizing it. Oh. Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. What? What? What the? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? I hate this kind of tea. Uh-oh. I don't understand. Yes. Indeed. Imagine we are at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. Then they ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now, further imagine that I replied, ah yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? But this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Uh, I went to all that trouble to make you that tea and you wanted me to go even farther? Yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple, simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... <laughs> why even bother creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch! Wow, that does not matter! Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine! <laughs> She's kind of like Toko, she looks all like kind of dainty and then she's uh yeah a little nasty Say what? <laughs> your little piggy will bring it right out <laughs> i do so love coercion you were like a totally different person just now <laughs> shit. yeah shit you really went psycho there <laughs> i knew there was more to her when i first met her i'd hate to have her as an enemy maybe i'll become friends with her just to try and keep her on my good side Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. Oh, okay. Who's who's coming? The dining halls flew open, and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But... Hmm. Bad news, everyone. There is a mystery afoot. Huh? What happened? <clears throat> it would seem Bayaka refuses to leave his room. Oh, shit. Is he dead? Oh, no. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'm, I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that. He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me! I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone. Um... Okay then, I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button till I get a response. Well... Very well, then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we have... Uh, we have to just do our best to find Bayakuya. So where might Bayakuya have gone? I have to say, I'm not really that concerned about him. I mean, if there was anyone that was going to get killed, I was kind of hoping it would be him. Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again. 